Hey guys, in this video we've got more simultaneous equation fun. This time we're looking at a quadratic and a linear uh, or questions where we have one quadratic equation and one linear. So, when we have these guys, a quadratic can be a parabola or it can be a circle. Now we've got three uh, possible variations. Uh, as far as our solutions are concerned, either a straight line won't hit the quadratic at all, so there are no solutions. The straight line might be a tangent to the quadratic, so there will only be one set of solutions, one x value and one y value, or the straight line might hit the quadratic at two distinct points. So there's two x-coordinates and two y-coordinates that we would be looking for. So in this video we're going to do one example of each. I do have quite a few more videos on this. Uh, these are more tricky a level ones though. So let's get cracking. Okay then first up we have y equals 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 and y minus 5x is equal to minus 3. So, the top guy is our quadratic here. It's a parabola, uh, so it's a curve. And the bottom guy is our um, linear equation. So, the method that we're going to use in this video is called substitution. Now, substitution is when we use the linear equation uh, to get an expression for one of the variables in terms of the other. So here we've got y minus 5x equals minus 3. If we add the 5x then we get y is equal to 5x minus 3. So here we have an expression for y in terms of x. So where the name substitution comes from is we now make this substitution. So we know that y is equal to 5x minus 3. So what we're going to do is substitute this stuff here in as this y up here. So we are going to get then 5x minus 3 is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 2, like that. So now we are just dealing with a quadratic equation in terms of x. So with quadratics we always want everything on the same side. So let's take away the 5x. So we would get minus 3 is 2x squared uh, plus 2. Uh, and then if we add the 3 we get 2x squared uh, plus 5 is equal to Zero. Now with this one really, we could actually chip away uh, the 5 and the 2 and the power of 2. Uh, we could get all that stuff onto the other side. But I'm going to use the discriminant here to find out how many roots this guy has. So here, A is equal to 2, B is equal to 0, C is equal to 5. So remember the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So here 0 squared is 0. So we got 0 minus 4 times 2 times 5. 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 40. So we get 0 minus 40 which is minus 40. So the discriminant 
is less than zero. Now when that's the case, that tells us then no real roots. So what this tells us is that the straight line never hits the quadratic. There are no solutions. So jobs again. Let's take a quick look at the graph. Just to show you what's going on. So here we got the parabola in red and the straight line we can see quite clearly they never hit each other which is why there are no solutions. Okay example T this time we've got a circle x squared plus y squared equals 10 and a straight line x is 3y minus 10. So for this type of simultaneous equation you have to use substitution Good luck using any other method. So, the second guy is telling us x is 3y minus 10. So, that's our substitution. Instead of x in the top guy, we are using 3y minus 10. So, the circle becomes 3y minus 10 squared plus y squared equals 10. So that's the substitution done. Now we just need to expand, simplify and see if we can solve. So 3y minus 10 squared is 9y squared minus 60 y plus 100 and then we got the plus y squared and that is equal to 10 so we can simplify a little bit on the left 9y squared add y squared it's 10y squared so we got minus 60y plus 100 is equal to 10. Now it's a quadratic, so we want everything on the same side. Take away the 10. 10y squared minus 60y plus 90 is equal to 0. Now before we try and solve, check to see whether we can simplify this to which we can as a common factor of 10. So dividing that gives us y squared minus 6y plus 9 and that is equal to 0. Now that's good, we can factorise that. So this will factorise t y minus 3 times y minus 3. So, what we've got here is one repeated root. We could write this as y minus 3 squared is equal to 0. What this tells us is that the, uh, the straight line only hits the circle at one point. And the y coordinate at this point is 3. So now what we do with that, substitute that back in G, either one of the equations, uh, but I would always go for the linear one, which was uh, x equals 3y minus 10. So we now know x is... 3 times 3, so 9, minus 10, therefore, x equals minus 1. So, our solutions to this guy, or our solution, is x equals minus 1, y equals 3. Now, given that there is only one point of intersection, 
the line is a tangent to the circle. So let's take a peek at that on the graph. Just gonna look like this. So there's our single point of intersection up there at minus one three where it should be jobs again. Okay, last one for this video then, so we got a circle. X squared plus y squared is fifteen and the straight line x plus two y equals five. So first job from the uh, linear equation get a substitution. So if we take 2y, we get x is 5 minus 2y. So there's our substitution. This is now going into the equation of the circle instead of the x. So we're going to get 5 minus 2y squared. plus y squared is equal to 50. Expand and simplify. So, if we expand 5 minus 2y squared, we are going to get 4y squared. We are going to get minus 20y. And we're going to get plus 25. And then plus y squared is equal to 50. Uh, if we simplify, we've got 5y squared minus 20y. And then it's a quadratic, so we want everything on the same side. So we're going to take away 50, so we get minus. 25 is equal to 0. Now, can we simplify this? Yes, we can. As a common factor of 5, divide that away, we get y squared uh, minus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. Now we need to factorise this. So, we're going to have a positive and a negative to get the minus 5, and it's going to be minus 5 plus 1, like that. So, we know then our y coordinates are going to be y equals minus 1, and y equals positive 5. So, we're halfway there now. What we've shown is that there are going to be two points where the line cuts the circle. So it's not a tangent. Now we need to substitute each of those into the linear equation, which was x is 5 minus y. Okay. So, let's just write that here so I don't forget. X is 5 minus 2y. So, when y is minus 1, we can get x equals 5 minus 2, lots of minus 1. So, x will be 7. So, that gives us one of our points. 7 minus 1. And then, when y5, x is going to be 5 minus 10, so minus 5. So, there's our other point, minus 5, 5. Let's just take a cheeky peek at that on the graph. Okay, 
Here he is in his graphing glory. Here's one of our points of intersection. This was minus five, five. And then we got the other one down here over seven, minus one. Okay guys, hope you found this useful. If you want more examples, I do have more videos on these. Uh, so search them out. If you want any new examples, or harder ones or whatever, let me know down below in the comments. For now though, that's the end of this chapter. Up next, coordinate geometry, which I really, really like. And we're going to be doing a lot of this sort of stuff in there too. Take it easy, take care.